My personality is naturally pretty tenacious. That is really good when it comes to songwriting because people tend to like that edge and that they can really get into and sink their teeth into. And I'm gonna ride, yeah. You know, my basic press release blurb for this song goes something along the lines of, I know what it's like to be counted out, cast aside, and overlooked, but no matter what they think or say about me, I'm gonna rise. That's the line that I've recorded several times to send to radio for some audio liners. That's the thing I've written in press releases multiple times. It really boils this song down for me. And a huge part of it too was that in my time as an artist, I've had so many opportunities to give up and quit. And I have just not taken those opportunities. And, and unless, you know, God directs me, hey, hang up the boots for now, or just hang up the boots entirely, I'm not gonna quit. Because when you've been through that much, when you've come this far, I mean, I've been doing this for over eight years, closer to my whole life, honestly. And when you've been doing it for that long, you don't just turn around and say, okay, you know what, I'm done. No, when somebody's come that far, that makes us dangerous because we know I can just keep going. I can do this all day. And so I wanted to instill that into Rise, but that also made writing this song kind of a balancing act. Because while on the one hand you want to have that edge, you want to have that snark and that unapologetic attitude, but on the other hand, I didn't want it to be prideful. There is a difference between those things, but I think sometimes it can come off as sort of a fine line. I'll get into that in a second, but first of all, I just wanted to say thank you. And I know I said this about the last song that I put out. I know I said this about Spotlight, but it has been the biggest release I've had so far. It's been awesome. It's gotten on some radio charts and it's been really interesting. One of the radio charts that it showed up on was the CMW Rhythmic Chart, which in my understanding is actually more for things like hip hop, but Hey, nonetheless, I'm thankful. So thank you to everybody who's been a part of that, who's streamed it, who's requested it, to the DJs that have played it on the radio and that have interviewed me. Just thank you all so much. When it came to writing this song, I, I really started thinking about how much I wasn't gonna let myself just give up or be given up on. And I know that's not exclusive to me. I know that's not exclusive to being a musician or an artist, but I think that maybe those of you who are also musicians can understand that feeling. And this was kind of my way of saying, I'm not going away because I'm not letting go of greatness. And I talked about that in Time to Live. You know, I kind of talked about that some in Spotlight, but with Rise, I really wanted to give that some attitude and give that some push. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be selfish or self-centered. And, and that, like I said, that can feel like a balancing act when you're writing. I didn't want it to come off as being prideful. You see, as a Christian, I don't believe that on my own, I can do, well, really anything. I certainly can't attain to the levels of greatness I want to get to without the God-given gifts that have been afforded to me, that have been supplied to me. And I want to give God the glory for those things. And there's a time to sit back and rest and to trust the Lord. And there's a time to get up and say, okay, I'm going to put some action with my faith. Let's take my seat at the table. So that's where that pre-chorus really kind of comes in. I can't take the credit for this, but I'll still hold the flame in this bliss. I'm still going to enjoy this ride and I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to be apologetic for it. You know, I feel very strongly that if especially Christians are going to be people that says, look at how great and how big our God is. Well, we don't need to prove that to anybody. We're not God's lawyers, but at the same time, we should be living that out and not just make it something we say in an Instagram post. And as any of us continue to rise and to move forward and go on to great things, you know, it's not about rubbing it in other people's faces. It's not about saying, look how great I am and you're not, especially toward those people that some might call haters or detractors, or people who don't really think you're going to go anywhere or don't want to see you go anywhere. Well, look, the Bible says that God makes a table for us in the presence of our enemies, so it doesn't help anybody to make yourself our enemies. But at the same time, 
we're supposed to walk in love with people. So I want to continually be a blessing to other people and say, hey, look, this is available to you too. I don't want to just posture and say, you know, I, I'm not really into those songs that are just about putting somebody else down in order to bring yourself up. That, that, I don't want to do that. And when it came to the production of this song, something really sort of funny happened to me. I went into producing this song thinking, okay, I want to make something that is really poppier than anything I've ever made before, especially in terms of the production. I want to use a whole lot of different sounds and samples. I want it to be very current and very modern. And I really think I achieved that and I'm super, super happy with the result. At the same time, what's been really interesting is I've had a lot of people still kind of identify it on the rock side of that spectrum, which certainly doesn't offend me, but it was something that kind of happened organically and by osmosis, because as I was writing this song that had this bulldog attitude about it, there were some points in the process where I couldn't help but say, I know, you know, this song doesn't rely on guitars and acoustic drums. It doesn't a lot rely on a rock band instrumentation, but it still kind of rocks. <laughs> and when I think about the way that it'll be played or performed live, there's so many different directions that that could go. So that's been what's really cool is seeing the different radio audiences and different audiences in general that have gotten into and latched onto the song because yeah it's produced like a modern pop song it's produced with a lot of driving electronic elements but it's still pretty thumping it's still pretty driving and I just I I don't want to say I couldn't help myself but after I got past a certain point I just didn't want to help myself anymore I was like you know what this is where this is going I'm gonna ride this train. So the bottom line was I really wanted to take this song and stand up on it and say, you know what? I've got this bulldogish determination and I'm gonna continue to move onward and upward. And man, if that doesn't make a great song. So thank you all so much for supporting the release. If you haven't added it to your Spotify or Apple Music playlist or bought it on a download site or whatever, added it you know, on YouTube, Make sure that you go and do that. Share it with your friends. This thing just continues to have this great upward trajectory and there is certainly no end in sight to that. Until next time, I love you. Jesus loves you. Onward and upward. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you head over to the online store and grab some of the sweet gear. And I'll see you next time.